Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to create an amazing YouTube video from start to publishing it in 30 minutes using ChatGPT and two other tools. I create this video in just 30 minutes, starting from choosing the topic, writing the script, getting the voiceover and putting everything together in the video. To be honest, I think it turned out pretty well. Now, if you don't know what ChatGPT is, it's an AI writing tool that can generate video scripts, blogs, essays, and almost any copy or answer any question with human-like precision for any business in seconds. Let me show you how to do that step by step. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out when we put out a new video with a new actionable tip or a tactic that will help your business grow. Okay, let's dive in. First and foremost, let us create a ChatGPT account. So let's go to Google and enter ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a part of OpenAI. So click on the link and then once you're there, click on the Try ChatGPT button. At the welcome screen, you need to create an account or login. I already have a ChatGPT account, so I will log in, but creating an account is very straightforward. They need your email and a valid phone number to send the OTP and you're good to go. Once you log in, you will come to the dashboard, which has a very clean user interface. You can toggle the light and the dark modes as per your preference. I prefer dark mode because it's easy on the eyes. You can see the capabilities and the limitations section, which will give you a better handle on what to expect. Also, whatever you generate, make sure that you proofread it. To create the video, the first thing to do is select a topic to write the script. If you don't have a topic shortlisted and need some ideas, you can use ChatGPT to get some fantastic ideas. Let me show you some examples. I run a photography website called ShutterTurf, so I look for ideas in the photography space. Let's input, I want to create a video on food photography. Give me some ideas. And now the AI is generating. And it has come up with some fabulous ideas. If you don't like the ideas, you could ask the AI to regenerate responses and it'll give you a different set of results. And you could do this multiple times. Also, you could click on the side arrows to see all the responses that ChatGPT generated previously. Let's try another one. I want to create a five minute video on cooking a healthy breakfast. Give me some ideas. And the AI has generated some fantastic options for creating a video script. Now let's ask ChatGPT to create a video script. Let's input, please generate a 500 word video script on tips for styling and arranging food for better visual appeal, including color theory and composition techniques. And the AI is generating the script. The script was completed in under 30 seconds, which is amazing. I was impressed by the quality of the output. Next, I will copy and paste the AI generated script into Google Docs without formatting. I'll share the link to the document in the video description so you can see the exact script that the AI generated. Next, we will use the text-to-speech software to convert the script we generated with ChatGPT into a voiceover for the videos. For text-to-speech, I, I will use Play HD. I've tried a lot of text-to-speech softwares and most of them sound very robotic. However, the AI voices in uh, Play HD, especially for the premium plans, sound very original and human-like. So I prefer to use those for my videos. However, if you prefer some other text-to-speech software, by all means, use that. Okay, first and foremost, you need to create an account on play.ht. I already have an account, but I'll create another one to show you. Let's quickly go through this. Once we have successfully created the account, you will come to the dashboard. I have recorded three premium AI voices. Take a listen. The first one is Susan with a US accent. Welcome to this tutorial. This guide will take you through a series of over 30 videos conveniently organized into three levels designed to walk you through the manufacturing process. Next is Wilson, also with a US accent. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how building a strategic onboarding process for new hires improves employee retention beyond their first year. And finally, Frederick with a British accent. Like many other philosophers who have greatly extended our knowledge of nature, Galileo had a remarkable aptitude for the invention of instruments designed for philosophical research. I found the AI voices to be excellent and some are indistinguishable from human voices. Also in making the video, you get a trial plan with free 600 words. So I recommend that you take the trial first and take a paid plan only if you like the AI generated output. Okay, 
Now let's convert our ChatGDP script into a voiceover that we could use in our video. Let's filter the available voices. And after sampling a few, I like Tracy. So I'll use that to generate the voiceover. Next, let's copy and paste the script. Please note that I have not made any changes. Whatever we got from ChatGPT is directly pasted into the play.ht screen. If this works as is without adding any extra punctuations, etc., it will help create videos much faster. Now let's generate the previews. Okay, I've generated all the previews. Next, let's export it into a single file so we have the complete voiceover as a single file. Great, we now have a voiceover ready. The next and final step is to use the voiceover and stock footage to generate the videos. On a side note, I hope you're getting some value out of this video and if you are, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Also check the description for the links to all the websites and resources I've spoken about. Okay, back to the video. To create the video, we will use a web application called InVideo. InVideo is an excellent video editing tool for making professional videos and has a very easy to use interface. Plus it has some incredible stock footage from Shutterstock and other providers built in to use for your videos. However, if you have some other preferences such as Adobe Premiere, Final Cut or something else, by all means use that. Okay. To start with InVideo, please create your account. I already have an account, so I'll log in, but create an account is very straightforward. Once you log in, you will come to the dashboard. On the left side menu, you can see all your projects, templates to create quick videos, stock footage, etc. We will create a new project by clicking Create New and then Editor and Landscape. This will open the editor window. Now let's upload the voiceover we created earlier. Once uploaded, you will see it in the left panel. Double click on it to get it in the timeline. Let's take a quick listen. Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of Food Photography Tips. Okay, everything looks good. Next, let's add some stock footage on food styling to give it the visual flair. There are 1 million plus assets to choose from, so every business type has an abundant choice. Once you like the video, click on the plus sign and then click add and now you should see the video in the video timeline. Next, click on text to add a title to your video. Browse and then select the title format you like. Make the necessary text and color edits. Adjust the positioning. And now you should have something like this. Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of Food Photography Tips. Use this button to adjust the timeline's view so you can easily edit the video scenes with precision and the scissor icon is for splitting or trimming footage. You can also add background music to make the videos even more professional. Go to music, choose the music you like. And then click on the plus sign to add it to the timeline. Adjust the volume to about 50% so it does not overpower the voiceover. Now let's see the video. Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of Food Photography Tips. And it's looking great. Okay, now let me quickly find more photos and footage and complete this video. Also, this is a brief overview on how to use InVideo to bring everything together and create a basic video. This is not an in-depth InVideo tutorial. I'll leave a few links in the description on how to use InVideo for creating videos. And the video is now created and ready to be published on YouTube or any other channel. Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of Food Photography Tips. Today, we're going to be discussing some key techniques for styling and arranging food to create visually appealing photos. We'll be covering topics such as color theory and composition, as well as some general tips and tricks to help you take your food photography to the next level. Also, once you have created the video, remember to share it with your audience via email or social media to give the video that initial boost because YouTube algorithm loves that. If you don't have an email list yet, watch the video to create an email list from scratch or you can see another video by clicking or tapping the screen. I can't wait to see you in future videos. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.